one and all. Um, the willows are now in flower, so we might be able to get a whistle out of this one. I'm going to uh, demonstrate how this works. First, you've got a good sharp knife. We take off the bits we don't need. That's the bit we do need. So we trim this end up. slice on there. One cut across the top. And that becomes the mouthpiece of the whistle. And the next cut, just through the bark, roll it round. We only cut the bark here, not the wood. Should do it. Carefully turn the knife around and use the handle as a mallet. Bruise the wood all over. Hopefully that will release the bark. Grip it gently and twist. There we go. That's now loose. But before we remove it, we're going to cut the beak. So on the top of the whistle, we're going to cut down at 90 degrees, not much, just a little, just a little nick like that. And we come in at about I don't know, 30 degrees and take out the beak. That's the bit that will make the noise. Now very carefully, you should be able to slide that off there without splitting it. There we go. A tube of bark, a piece of wood. Now where we cut the first 90 degree cut, we want to cut deeper. Probably about halfway through, maybe a little bit more. When we come back along the channel, cut that bit out. see they come away quite easily because you cut to where you've already cut so they just neatly slice off we're over halfway now because we've reached the piff channel so one more cut we'll call that good Just want to shave the top of the mouthpiece. That lets the air in. So you want one nice clean cut from the from the 90 degree straight off the end. And we carefully put the bark back on. Sure that we're all lined up. And 
and that's that. Jolly good. Have a go, mind your fingers. Um, sharp with a knife, better the results. Um, this was one made by Matt Self, self made knives. It's a lovely little knife to whittle with. Um, so, yeah, have a play and uh, shoot me a message if you want any, um, any help. Jolly good, enjoy your morning and uh, catch you later. Bye.